Hello, welcome back to that fourth video about measuring bandwidth with iPort 3 in GNS3. So without more ado, let's go to GNS3 and uh, let's set out our topology. We will have to use two Windows 10 Ubuntu machines so we can boot into Ubuntu to try that. We'll start that machine and opening a console for booting into Ubuntu and the same for a, another Windows 10 Ubuntu machine. Remember that it's important if you want to put more than one instance the setup of that template in the advanced part has to have marked the option of use as a linked based VM. So you can start both machines booting into Ubuntu. OK. We'll have to install uh, the iPort3 iPort software, so we'll need uh, some kind of internet connection. So we'll place one NAT node in our topology and we'll place also a switch, a Cisco switch to interconnect all the devices. So here we are, just we start that Cisco switch we don't have to uh, configure anything here, we'll have uh, to start and that's it. And then we'll have to plug the NAT device to the switch and also the Ubuntu 1 to the switch and the Ubuntu 2 to the switch. So once everything is plugged, you can go to our console, for example, in the, U, in the Ubuntu 1. This is the Ubuntu 2, this is the Ubuntu 1. Let's put in different areas. Uh, you can see the, that the network icon is on. Let's go and log in in both machines. Uh, and let's open a terminal in each machine so we can check that we've got an IP address from our NAT cloud and that we can access the internet. Yeah, it's working. And in the second one we can also open a terminal, uh, check our IP address We've got a valid IP and we can connect to the internet. Perfect. So uh, we can sudo uh, apt install iperf free. Yes. And also in the other machine. Okay, let's close that windows. Uh, how does iPort 3 work? It works in, in a client server architecture. So uh, we need uh, IP, uh, iPort working as a server and then in another machine or even the same machine, we could have uh, iPort 3 working as a client. So to install, to start iPort 3 as a server, just need to do iPort 3 dash server. It says, OK, uh, I am listening on one port, 5201, and we need to connect a client. For example, we could do that with the, in the same machine. Let's try. In that machine, I will be opening another terminal. Uh, what is it? another terminal. Oh, I can see it. OK, here, new terminal. OK, now it came. It's perfect. So I have, uh, I'll make that window smaller so we can see both windows. That one is listening and in 
that other windows that other window I'll install I'll use iperf3 as a client so that's C as a client and in the client I need to tell to what computer I want to connect so I have to provide the IP address of the other computer in that case I want to to test that to try that in my own machine so it will be localhost and you can see that here it has accepted a connection from my IP address and it's sending information from one side to the other we are working in the same machine and look at this it's huge 22 gigabits per second yeah but just I am sending information from my computer to myself so it should be fast and it does not uh, measure the network uh, performance to measure the network bandwidth we have to go from the server in one side to the client in the other one so here in that device we got a server listening and we know that the IP address of that uh, computer is 147 so we go to the other Ubuntu once the software installed we just have to make a connection as a client to the other side of the network so iProf3 as a client and want to connect to the IP on the other side so the IP will be 192.168.1.1 dot 122.147 and now we will see that there's a new connection here and it will measure the bandwidth of that simulated network okay uh, it's sending information and the bandwidth is really poor because uh, that way, the way GNS3 works uh, has got not a great network performance so now we only have 2.4 megabits per second megabits, that's important, it's not bytes, it's bits so we have 2.4 megabits per second of bandwidth from the Ubuntu 2 machine to the Ubuntu 1 so the, the bandwidth of that Genius Free Network is just 2.4 megabits per second okay in real networks it should be bigger and if we use some ether channel for connecting a computer uh, the bandwidth could even increase so just it you have to install iPorf3 in any computer you want to use you have to uh, start the program in uh, as a server in one side start the program as a client in the other side and then it will send information in both directions and compute the bandwidth the real bandwidth from both computers and that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.